Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and today, we'll be looking at the Dino Inferno. Thank you once again to Anthony Bush 4407 for today's topic, the Pyroraptor. The first remains of Pyroraptor were discovered in 1992, located in the modern-day country of France, specifically the southeastern locality of La Bouchard. These remains were discovered following a forest fire that had devastated the region, clearing much of the vegetation and debris around the fossil. This original specimen was fairly incomplete, consisting only of a few claw pieces, an arm bone, and several teeth. Additional specimens would later be found in modern-day Spain, but these specimens were similarly very incomplete. Despite these lackluster remains, paleontologist Ronan Elaine and Philippe Taquet would describe the original fossil as a new genus and species of dinosaur in 2000, named Pyroraptor olympius. Currently, this is the only recognized species of Pyroraptor. Its name stems from Latin, including the words pyre, meaning fire, and raptor, meaning thief, directly translating to fire thief. The beginning of this name, fire, is in reference to the origins of its first fossil, being discovered following a forest fire. Its ending of thief, or raptor, more references its family rather than Pyroraptor actually stealing fire, which we will discuss in a moment. Its species name, Olympias, references the location of this same fossil, being discovered at the base of a mountain in the La Bouchard locality called Mont Olympe. Pyroraptor was a Cerician theropod, and more specifically, a member of the famed Dromaeosauridae. The Dromaeosaurs are a distinct group of dinosaurs that first began in the early Cretaceous, and by the end of the Cretaceous had flourished into an extremely successful family of dinosaurs. Family members are often informally called raptors, popularized by the 1993 film Jurassic Park to call out fellow Dromaeosaur Velociraptor, and is still perpetuated by modern representation, like the Toronto basketball team, the Toronto Raptors, which feature a Velociraptor, or adjacent species, as their mascot. However, scientists try to avoid this term, as to not confuse these animals with the actual modern-day raptors, which include certain predatory birds, like eagles and falcons. Although, with how synonymous raptor has become with dromaeosaurs, Many scientists choose to accept raptor to refer to both the avian and non-avian dinosaurs. Many representations of its members, like Microraptor and Velociraptor, choose to highlight their relation to birds with the inclusion of feathers, even on members who have not shown evidence of this, but are also distinguishable for their well-developed forelimbs and iconic hooked hindlimb claws. This focus on dromaeosaurs is important in regards to Pyroraptor, as dromaeosaurs are quite rare in Europe, instead being more common on continents like Asia and North America. For this reason, one of the only other dromaeosaurs in Europe, the Variraptor, has been proposed as a synonym of Pyroraptor. Oh no, not again. Thankfully, this debate isn't anywhere near as complex or controversial. Any similarities between the two are often chalked up as simply common characteristics of dromaeosaurs, and with both dinosaurs having extremely fragmentary remains, it is almost impossible to definitively compare the two. So, both dinosaurs are accepted as distinct genus. Focusing in on Pyroraptor, Size estimation is somewhat difficult due to a lack of bones, particularly from its body and skull. 
Many estimates compare what bones do exist to close family members like Velociraptor. Using this method, Pyroraptor would have been nearly 5 feet or 1.5 meters in length and stood at about 2 feet or half a meter tall. Due to its thin frame and light bones, Pyroraptor would have only weighed about 20 pounds. Their teeth, while small, were curved backwards with small, notched serrations on the rear side, making them effective for cutting into flesh. Their forelimbs would have been well developed and ended in sharp claws, useful for catching prey and possibly climbing trees. The thin legs of Pyroraptor would end in three-toed feet, with their second toe equipped with their iconic curved claw. The claw of Pyroraptor measured about three inches or six centimeters in length. Similar to their arms, it is likely this claw was a useful weapon for cutting into or holding onto prey, as well as providing strong grip when climbing trees. Its long tail would have given Pyroraptor incredible agility, providing necessary control when running at speeds of 25 miles per hour, assuming they could match the speed of Velociraptor. Many depictions prefer to show Pyroraptor covered in a coat of feathers, red naturally. If based on relatives, these feathers would include a mix of longer flight-like feathers on the hands, arms, and tail, as well as shorter down-like feathers covering the rest of their body. However, the original fossils of Pyroraptor show no evidence of feathers, so it is difficult to determine if this depiction is correct. Pyroraptor would have lived during the late Cretaceous, almost 80 million years ago. It was believed to live throughout modern-day mainland Europe particularly in areas like France and Spain. During this time, Europe was an extensive archipelago, or a collection of islands ranging in size. These islands would have been home to lush forests and jungles, divided by shallow tropical seas. This environment would have benefited Pyroraptor, allowing it to effortlessly stalk through the trees or hide in the dense underbrush relying on its keen senses and nimble body to ambush and catch prey. Due to their small stature, it is unlikely they would be able to take on large herbivores like the sauropods Ampelosaurus or Lorenosaurus. Instead, Pyroraptor would have relied on small prey like lizards and mammals, or possibly hunt in packs to take on larger prey like the Struthiosaurus or Rhabdodon. Like many dromaeosaurs, Pyroraptor would not have been the largest or dominant predator of their environment, with Pyroraptor having to avoid predation from the larger Tarascosaurus and Archovenator. Despite the little we know of this dinosaur, Pyroraptor has had a surprisingly successful presence in modern media. Its first, and one of its largest roles, would be in 2003's documentary, Dinosaur Planet. Featuring as the main dinosaur in Episode 3, Pod's Travels, as the namesake Pod. In this episode, we watch as Pod loses his family and home, and must brave a new island filled with dwarf-sized versions of familiar dinosaurs. This depiction would be fairly accurate, but would depict Pyroraptor as slightly larger than many estimates, closer to the previously mentioned Varioraptor. Although this depiction was spot on compared to the 2022 movie Jurassic World Dominion, which almost tripled the size of the real life Pyroraptor and made it a powerful, almost graceful swimmer which made some sense as an island faring carnivore, but the penguin-like grace was a bit of a stretch. Like, come on, everyone knows dinosaurs did the breaststroke. Beyond these roles, Pyroraptor would make smaller appearances 
including this oversized version, in Jurassic World media, like the 2018 Jurassic World Alive and 2021's Jurassic World Evolution 2 in the Dominion Biosyn expansion, as well as making a small cameo in the second season of 2022's Prehistoric Planet. Pyroraptor has captured our imagination with a downright badass name, but our understanding of this dinosaur has always been limited. From what we do know, Pyroraptor was a lean and efficient predator, able to brave a world of giants. Among its peers, it was truly a pyrogon of ferocity. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of Pyroraptor and if you've heard of this dinosaur before the video. Fascinating how little we know about this dinosaur and yet it's been able to score several significant roles. But I guess that just comes to show when you have a name like Pyroraptor, you kind of have the edge over the competition. I hope you're all enjoying your holiday seasons with friends and family. We have a bonus episode coming up this week. No spoilers, but you'll need a coat for this next dinosaur. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.